We begin in Zimbabwe, where people are eager to cast their votes in the country's first elections since the ousting of former President Robert Mugabe. Queues began to form even before the polls opened. People who want to see the economy restored and pinning their hopes on 40-year-old Nelson Chamisa, a lawyer who is vying to become the country's youngest head of state. Despite allegations of fraud, the people of Zimbabwe have come out in droves to cast their vote. Polls will close at 7 p.m. local time. If no candidate wins more than half of the votes, a runoff election will be held on the 8th of September. Nothing has to be changed in Zimbabwe because you are struggling here in Zimbabwe. We want a new leadership, we want things to be changed so that we can, everyone should, we can go, to, should go to work. Our families are suffering because there are no jobs here in Zimbabwe. Nelson Chamisa, the main opposition candidate, says he is confident of a victory against the incumbent president, Emerson Nangawa. After casting his vote, Chamisa declared that victory is certain as crowds cheer for him. However, opinion polls before the election show them Nangawa, a former intelligence officer who has been president since the ouster of Mugabe, had a marginal lead over Chamisa.